All right, you guys. So in this video, what I wanted to show you is um, how you download uh, the static files that you've collected on your uh, Topcon HyperVR HR receivers, maybe Sukiya GRX3 receivers, maybe some others, but mainly those uh, as of 2022. Mm, so the prerequisite is you do have to have Topcon, re uh, Topcon receiver utility or Sukiya receiver utility installed, either or. Uh, you go into application mode and you check receiver managing. You notice, notice at the bottom right, we are disconnected. Hence, this is a red little disconnected icon over here. To connect, um, if you're using the supplied USB cable, which is plugged into your computer, and then you have the USB cable plugged into the uh, micro USB port on the receiver itself, um, it is counterintuitive. You would think that it would be something that you're using USB here as far as connection parameters, but no, you are going to be using a serial port and that serial port is going to be in your little triple dot over here. It's not going to be your primary serial port, but it'll always say something like Top Gun Hyper VR, Hyper HR, or mm, Sukiya GRX receiver. And this COM number will change depending on what receiver you're using. So unfortunately the program if you're having if you have multiple receivers not just one uh, if you only have one receiver it'll always be the same number typically unless something changes if you have multiple receivers right two or three this number will change so you'll have to every time you plug in and i am currently uh my hyper vr is actually on plugged into the computer via that usb port hence i can see that so notice if i unplug it I actually unplugged it from my computer at this moment, which means if I go into the uh, triple dot, see it's not there. So when I plug it back in, and my little computer gave me a notification that there's something there, if I re-attach um, it, it now says COM4. I'll hit the OK button. I don't have to do anything else. So it's a, a serial port, even though it's plugged into USB but it's considered serial. When I hit connect, you will see that this is now a green connection on COM4, which is a virtual port. You have a uh, somewhat of a uh, ID that it has nothing to do with your serial number on the actual sticker of the receiver, but it's some internal ID for your device that you're connected to. And now besides checking out all of these op options and functions, the most important thing when you're downloading static files is from your file explorer. So under file explorer, what you do is you will probably see depending on the type of receiver you have a boatload of file a b c d and all of these here but i kind of don't care i'm just looking at the files that i already have on the unit so on the unit itself you will have a list of files and these files that i see over here are named uh based on the julian date and year and stuff but again you will be able to see that so today um if it is uh, September 19th, it'll say 0919. And then, of course, you'll have different file sizes here. So if you find the files that you need, you can either shift select them or just um, select them one by one. And uh, if you do, right click them and you don't delete until you have downloaded it, but just hit download and also be careful about where you actually download it to. I usually create a... Uh, folder somewhere on my storage drive maybe i'll go into my jobs i have a de carlo tab and maybe i will make a new folder and i'll call it static files and this is again just data management and now i can go and download this one too again you can do this uh, in a one-step process i'll go back into my storage it's already there so hopefully a static file so it'll download it i can do it uh, by holding shift button and just selecting the last file that i want and again right clicking and just hitting download now if i look at the file manager and i go into that location which is under my jobs under the carlo under static files i will have these two files now for me to process on my uh, local computer here so if you are now done of course you can uh, either box them in over here and delete these files or just leave them there until you're absolutely positive that you don't need them anymore and then delete them to just free up some space all right hopefully this was a useful video don't forget to disconnect when you're done and uh, yeah and then just uh, process your static files. If you have any questions or comments, leave them below.